two words. I, w- I want to get your re- reaction to these two words here. Igloo Australia. Igloo Australia. What are they talking to say? Iggy Azalea? You, you haven't heard this yet? This has been trending for the past day. No, so. what the fuck is Igloo Australia? <laughs> Azalea Banks went on a went on a big Twitter rant. Oh, And referred shit. to Iggy Azalea as Igloo Australia. Wow. In that same rant, she called uh, T.I. a shoe-shining coon. <laughs> wow. That's kind of, hey, well, hey, you know what? And that's what I love about hip-hop. Hip-hop, we really exercise the freedom of speech. We really exercise that shit. Sometimes to our own detriment, but we do it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I could see, like, I could see the frustration if, I don't know, like, you know, with all this Twitter hacked, deleting, you just never know. No, no, it's, it's her. What a person it's her. She, she has now, a history of, of, of going at Iggy Azalea. Okay, so that's cool. We could say that that's her. That's her. But then, then do we turn around and say, that was Iggy when she posted the picture and said, me and my niggas? No, that wasn't her. That's what I'm saying. So my whole thing is, with all this hacked, all this non-official tweeting, I don't know. I want her to sit down right here in this chair that I'm sitting in right. and say, yeah, I said that. Well, I'm and then that's when I'll form my opinion. But Azalea Banks has a history of going at T.I. and Iggy Azalea. So, so this is not out of character. Right. You know what I mean? This is This is very, very much... Consistent, consistent to her in the last few she, years, you know. Um, I don't so what know you're what, saying is, I need to get up on what she's doing out there. Well, I mean, you know, I don't I, know. I don't know where this beef started between those two. Uh, I don't know if the, the Azalea name that they both share. It seems like it. You know, it seems um, like that could be a catalyst. Iggy Azalea had this the slave master line back in the day. Oh Lord, have mercy. You, you know, um, <laughs> you, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But you know, but, but this brings me to my next point of. <laughs> Iggy Azalea won. What's going won, on in hip hop, man? Fuck. I, Iggy won best <laughs> hip hop album at the AMAs. Right. She she won over Eminem and, yeah. Dr- and Drake. Okay, great. And uh, everybody else. And people got pissed about that. People got pissed about it. I don't give a fuck about an American Music Award. Not at all. Huh? I'm a fucking hip hop real MC that come from the underground. <laughs> I don't give two shits about no American Music Award. If a motherfucker gives you a trinket of that motherfucking measure. Enjoy it. <laughs> I don't give two shits about no fucking American music. I don't give two shits about a Grammy. None of that shit. None of that shit. Hell no. Nah. Why? People think they. A lot of I see a lot of hip hop artists that, that say, "Yo, I, they want to get a Grammy because they know that it might boost the sales and the interest in their career." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which it, which it does. Yeah. Um, me I personally, mean, I make the music for the people, man, and the people. You know, when somebody comes to me in a barbershop and say, yo, that song you made, man, really got me through some tough times. That's what I fuck with. I don't, yeah. I don't give a fuck about no fucking paperweight. The fuck? This is hip hop, dog. I'm going to always be 100% hip hop. I remember when the Grammys didn't even let motherfucking hip hoppers in. I remember when they didn't even have a category for hip hop. Right. I remember when they were motherfucking rallying against the hip hop shit. Right. I, I, and remember that at one point they had a category, but they weren't broadcasting on TV. And that's when Jay Z boycotted the, the Grammys. He you feel, you feel what I'm saying? Like the last time I was at the Grammys, man, I was sitting right behind Will Smith and Jada. I was sitting uh, with Wayne and Drake and all those. They was on the side and all that. And I was in there with a Long Beach hoodie on because I don't give a fuck about the Grammys. And I don't give a fuck about no AMAs. Who gives a fuck if she got an award? Who gives a fuck if whoever got an award? Do you know how many people who never got an award? Biggie. Tupac. So what does that tell you? Rakim. What does that tell you? Cool. That tells you that I think we're Big concerned about the wrong things here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People just want to fucking debate and argue and make noise about bullshit. Who cares, mm-hmm. man? Who cares that some stuffed shirt motherfucker said that she had the best hip hop album in the world? Guess what? Even the motherfuckers in that category might not have had the best hip hop album in the world. Could have been some kid on the fucking corner independent that nobody ever fucking heard of might have had a better hip hop album than everybody in that whole category. I really like Vince Staples album. It's, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Long Beach. Yeah. <laughs> I love that album. You know, that, that, yeah. that don't never get mentioned. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. I'm supposed to sit here and focus on what the fuck? Man, I don't, man, they can't dictate who. Just like when I see the 50 hottest MC list from anybody and fucking MTV. And I tell Sway this. Sway is my brother. That's family. Yeah. We talk about that, like, 50 hottest MC, like, all that stuff, dog. I've... 
That shit don't mean nothing to me, man. Barbershop talk means something to me.